Welcome everyone to a new virtual seminar on geometry with symmetries. And today it's my great pleasure to welcome Fang Yang Sheng from Zhongjing Normal University in China. And he'll be addressing the question of when will the Chen connection of a Hermitian manifold have parallel torsion and curvature. Thanks, Fang Yang. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Romero, for the for the uh, invitation and the introduction. So um I'd like to um oh I um let me so so the title of my talk is uh, uh when uh, the churn connection of a Hermitian manifold have parallel when we ought to have parallel torsion and curvature. Um so um I will organize my report in uh, into six uh parts. Um so in the first part, I will um, I will briefly recall this uh, so-called Ambrose-Singer connections, and then I, we will uh, introduce the main theorem. And the theorem actually the proof consists of three components, uh, which is part three, four, and five. And then in the last part, I will um, discuss uh, similar questions about bismuth connections. Okay, so. First of all, uh, I'd like to mention that this is uh, based on joint work with uh, Lei Ni from UC San Diego. Uh, I apologize for uh, those of you who are already uh, listening to uh, the report, either by me or by, by Lei uh, already. Um, sorry about the duplication, but um, in the end, I tried to add some uh, new material so that it won't be a total um, duplication. So. We're interested in understanding a special type of uh, locally homogeneous Hermitian manifold where the churn connection is Ambrose Singer. Ambrose Singer means having parallel torsion and curvature with respect to the connection itself. So first of all, let's recall, um, so for those of, uh, of us in the audience who are, might be less familiar with, uh, uh, with the complex geometry, so let's recall Hermitian manifold is just a, uh, a Riemannian matrix on a complex uh, on, on a complex manifold where the uh, where the matrix is compatible with the uh, with J the almost complex structure. So um, so just like giving a differentiable manifold, you always have Riemannian matrix. Giving a complex manifold, you always have Hermitian matrix. So in itself, it's not a restriction. Um, so and. Once the metric is given, there are lots of metric connections. And um, there, of course, there is this uh, most famous one, the Lebicivita connection, which is the unique metric connection that is torsion free, right? So um, it is also uh, sometimes called Riemannian connection. The problem with the uh, Hermitian geometry is that this Riemannian connection may or may not respect the almost complex structure. Um, if it does, when it does, then we say the matrix is scalar. Otherwise, it's non-scalar, right? So um, when a compact complex manifold admits a scalar matrix, it is somehow imposed strong topological restrictions. Uh, for example, by Hodge theory, uh, you know that uh, there will be Hodge decomposition. So the homology of the cohomology um, of the, I mean, the topological type of manifold are uh, somehow restricted. Uh, it's, uh, I think one could uh, say that the majority of compact complex manifolds do not admit any uh, Taylor matrix. So if you, um, if, you, if, you, um, if you agree that uh, we still want to do differential geometry on them, so a uh, non Taylor matrix is inevitable in that sense. So, um, so when the matrix is non killer then the Vichirita connection has nothing to do. It's not compatible with J, so it's not necessarily the best connection to, uh, to use uh, because uh, uh, you can still do uh, Riemannian, the Riemannian geometry, but it's unclear uh, what the geometric conclusion you draw uh, will have uh, much to do with the analytic complex analytic property you're seeking. Uh, I mean, of course, they're all related, but in a, in a, in a perhaps implicit kind of way. So people oftentimes do not prefer to use this connection when, when it's non -killer. Um So there is another connection that is widely used. It's called the churn connection. So we use nabla C to denote it. So nabla C is the unique metric connection that is Hermitian, meaning that it's compatible with J. And also its torsion has only a two zero part. There's no, the one one part vanishes. 
Okay. So, um, so this is often called the churn connection, and and uh, um, and it exists uh, um, for holomorphic vector bundles as well. So, so, um, so in algebraic geometry, they they prefer this connection of time. Now, besides churn and the uh, there is another connection called bismol connection, or, or also known as Strominger connection. Um, it is the unique Fermi connection that has totally skew symmetric torsion. So the torsion, when you bring down the third component, it becomes a three zero type tensor, right? So it is obviously skew symmetric with respect to the first two position by definition. And if you uh, if, if it's also skew symmetric with respect to the last two position, then it becomes a three form, right? So it's a totally skew symmetric. So there is a unique such connection. Um, uh, I discovered independently by Strominger and, and the Bismol. Um, so, so in mass literature, they're often called Bismol connection. So in a way, this Bismol connection is uh, kind of a bridge between Chern and the Levitivita. So it's, Riemannian geometry is not a, certainly not as good as, uh, as the, the Levitivita connection because it has torsion. But its torsion is smaller in a way. Um, for example, the geodesics, uh, the geodesic equation only used the symmetric part of the torsion. Uh, so, um, so, so, um, so because it's totally skew symmetric, it doesn't have a symmetric part. So, so, um, so, so the symmetric part, uh, I should say, the connect, the symmetric part of the connection is uh, is torsionless in a way. So, so the uh, bismol connection and the Levitivita connection share the same set of geodesics. So, so in essence, you see the geometry. Riemannian geometry study is easier than churn connection, which has a bigger torsion in a way. But on the other hand, um, the, the, the complex analytic property is not as good as the churn connection. So, so kind of, it, kind of, it is kind of sitting in between. It's a compromise. And for some reason, uh, these physicists prefer this connection. For some reason, I, I don't really understand. I don't know much physics. Um, so when the matrix is scalar, all three connections uh, coincide, right? So there's only one geometry. But uh, when the matrix is non scalar uh, you have at least, uh, you know, three or two or three different kinds of geometry, right? Once you have a connection, its square will be curvature, so you get a, uh, get a, get a different kind of geometry. So, um, so let's recall the famous, the classic result of Ambrose Singer, which is generalized Cartan's theory on symmetric space to homogeneous space, right? So, um, so we will call a metric connection Ambrose Singer if its torsion and the curvature both vanishes, or both parallel with respect to the connection itself. Um, so the classic result of Ambrose Singer in the 1950s says that if you have a complete, simply connected Riemannian manifold, then it would be homogeneous if and only if it has an Ambrose Singer connection. So, um, so this is a necessary and sufficient condition. Um, so um, so uh, the, the, the proof is based on, uh, actually, uh, the, the paper is actually short, um, in, in, uh, in, in, in sort of with a classic flavor. Um, I, so here, because I think in the audience, most of the uh, audience are experts, so, so I will just skip this part. Okay, I outlined the, the, the um, outline the proof for the sake of uh, how, how to construct, you know, how to go from the uh, transitive uh, action of our isometry group to, to this connection and how to walk backwards. So this- um, um, Can, can yeah. I ask you a question? Yes, uh, please. This, this Ambrose Singer connection, does it depend on, on the metric? If you have a homogeneous yes. space and you change the yes. metrics, this connection also change or does- Yes, or the... yes. So, so here uh, we only consider metric connections. So everything is uh, uh, is metric. So, so, um, but the Ambrose Singer connection, the problem with it is it's not unique. So, so, um, because uh, because uh, uh, on a homogeneous space, you may have more than one uh, uh, transitive group acting on. You know, the, the isometric group may have a subgroup already acting transitively. Um, so, so. So each such group correspond to a uh, Ambrose Singer connection. So that's okay, the that's the take. Suppose, suppose you fix a, a realization g over k. Okay. Does it does it depend on, on the g invariant metric the the Ambrose Singer connection? 
um, if you fix the group, um, well, if you fix the group, uh, then you still have a choice on metric, right? I mean, the G-invariant metric may not be uh, unique, right? Yeah. I'm... So, so quick question. Uh, in the case of uh, simply transit, so in the case of, of a Lie group, right? No isotropy group. Um, yeah. Is it true that uh, this connection is the one making the left invariant vector fits parallel? Uh, if because, it's a Lie group, because that one you... has that one. Yes. You use a left invariant metric, right? And then um yes, yes. So in particular for any left invariant metric, this connection will be met, right? Oh. Because the left invariant vector fields are parallel. And then the torsion is a bracket, which is again left invariant, so it's also parallel. And the curvature is zero by the Jacobi condition, I imagine. So so I think that's a that's a good example to keep in mind. Maybe I'm wrong, so please correct me if I'm young. Or James yeah, maybe I, I know this. Um, on a Lie group, there's two, I think, um, okay. already on a Lie group, because you can have the torsion being the bracket, or you can have the torsion being minus the bracket. So there are two options. Okay. Um, and I think they're both flat, so yeah. Or not, yeah, Par uh, parallel curvature, at least. Yeah. All right, sorry, actually, this, Yang, keep, yeah. keep going, keep going. Huh? Okay, okay, yes, these are, you. yeah, that's actually an excellent question. I'm uh, I'm relatively uh, new to uh, homogeneous space. I'm still, I, 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 I you know, uh, so Lei Ni got me into this. Uh, so um, so I'm more, I'm less familiar. So I'm, I'm still learning about uh, homogeneous. Space. I'm, I think I'm more comfortable working with Lie groups now, but uh, homogeneous where you have to mod uh, uh, isotropy, so, so, um, I'm still uh, still learning how to <laughs> sometimes do the computation, but but uh, here, um, I mean, for for um, for the Andrew Singer, uh, they they basically, uh, my understanding is that they basically want to generalize Cartan's uh, Cartan theory. Cartan theory uh, characterizes locally symmetric space by those uh, metric where the curvature is parallel. Right. In our case, there's no torsion, so just curvature. But that's for Levi-Civita connection. So basically, they relaxed. They say, okay, if we replace Levi-Civita connection by uh, another metric connection, uh, then what happens? Uh, so they found that actually this describes uh, exactly this uh, homogeneous space. So um, so here, let me uh, jump, uh, switch, uh, skip over that part. So um, so so here, um, the remark is that um, so. So we use this uh, this uh, uh, this AS to denote the set of all Ambrose Singer connections, but the problem is that it's not unique in general. So um, so 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 um, so there is an issue, um, and also um, um, well, if the Levitivita connection is Ambrose Singer, then it's, we're in the local symmetric case, right? But um, but but uh, in general, so 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 one can ask all kinds of questions about this set. Uh, we we didn't really explore it. Uh, for instance, um, for homogeneous space, uh, if you consider the uh, identity component of the isometry group, this is the, in some sense, the largest, right? So it corresponds to, according to the Andrew Singer theorem, it corresponds to a metric connection, right? Uh, it corresponds to an Andrew Singer connection, and this connection, in some sense, has the largest symmetry. So, so in, in a way, it should be canonical, right? Uh, so even when the Amber Singer connection is not unique, uh, this connection still makes sense, right? So, so, um, but uh, um, we didn't uh, really know much about the maybe in the literature, maybe in the old time people studied it, but we didn't know anything. Uh, we, um, and also, um, so if you're in the Hermitian case, then you can just go from uh, O2n to un, right? And um, and then then everything goes parallelly. So uh, this uh, uh, mathematician Sekigawa in the 1970s um, so uh, had this uh, generalization of Ambrose Singer to the permission case. So the, 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 um, the conclusion is exactly what you think it should be. Namely, uh, if you're on a Hermitian manifold, then having a Hermitian connection that is Ambrose Singer, if and only if it is uh, Hermitian homogeneous, 
so so um so um so here I will sometimes say the word locally homogeneous. I mean that in a in a in a sort of a stronger way, meaning that the universal cover is homogeneous. So um now one can ask when will this set be uh be you know having a unique point, uniqueness, right? So things like that. So here we just ask the naive question: when will the churn connection be in it, be Andrew Singer? So uh so uh Ni gave it this name, uh C A S. So it means churn Andrew Singer, because it's too long to say, right? So um and uh, of course, uh, you can ask the same question for bismuth connection or uh Dao Dushun connection, which is the uh, one parameter family joining Chern and Bismo, right? So you could have BAS or, or um, BAS or, or TGAS, right? So um, give, give it these acronyms. So here, um, let's first consider two uh, sort of uh, uh, standard examples. One is the um, one is the Hermitian symmetric space, right? Which is the Kater manifold having uh, uh, having having a uh, parallel curvature, so that's that's a symmetric case. So um, so so they are crisp. I mean, they are fully classified, right? During our uh, so so for for the, the for the non-compact version, it's just the um just the um the, the bounded symmetric domains, right? So there are four classic sequence, right? Um, so these are called classic 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 domains, uh, type one, two, three, four, right? Then there are two exceptional ones. So these are given by, uh, I guess, uh, every, everyone is familiar with them. So, um, so, so they're, I, I mean, they're, they're, they're associated to the, uh, to the classification of uh, simple algebra, complex uh, simple the algebra, right? So um, here, I, let me do this. Uh, so, so this L.K. Hua is a legendary mathematician in China. Uh, so uh, he, uh, a lot of Chinese mathematicians are his uh, mathematical offsprings. Uh, so, so if you come to China, you will learn that. So he had this uh, uh, classic book in the 1960s. Um, so in our time, I think I think these two exceptional ones are not well understood yet. So one is in dimension 16, the other one in dimension 27. So that's the uh, Hermitian symmetric ones, and then. Uh, then there is also this churn flat ones. So churn flat one means a, 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 a compact Hermitian manifold where the churn curvature vanishes identically. So uh, Boosby's uh, uh, theorem says that um, so so the compactness will force the torsion to be uh, the flatness of a curvature will force the torsion to be parallel. So therefore, uh, the universal cover is a complex D group. Uh, so, so that's uh, so that's a churn flat ones, just basically compact quotients of uh, complex D groups. So here I give uh, 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 the simplest, lowest dimensional example, a non kater one, right? I mean, a complex torus, of course, is also an example, but we 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 ignore the kater case. So, so, um, so this is the Iwasawa manifold. Uh, I think everyone is familiar, right? So, um. So the, the the question really is that are uh, there any non-trivial examples, right? So you have Hermitian symmetric spaces, you have churn flat manifolds, so they take their product, take their quotients. I mean, these are all past manifolds, right? Um, but the question is, are there any other? So we initially tried to look for it, and we we couldn't find any. So we suspect that there there aren't any. So um so we initially couldn't do. We we can prove. Uh, in dimension three and four, there is no such examples, non-trivial examples. But we couldn't really handle the general dimension until we uh, we found a algebraic version of uh, this uh, AK theorem, which allowed us to to um. To this. So let me recall. Let's recall what AK theorem says. Uh, this is uh, uh, Alex Kivsky and the Kimmel field uh, in the 1970s. So it says that if you have a homogeneous Riemannian manifold, then Ricci flatness would imply flatness. Um, so here, of course, homogeneity is important, right? Without this assumption, it's clearly not true. Um, but for homogeneous space, somehow uh, the flatness of Ricci uh, controls the flatness. So, so, so this is a uh, this is an interesting statement. Um, 
So I think just a quick uh, comment. When when they proved the theorem, uh, there were no examples of Ricci flat manifolds which were not flat, right? So uh, the first oh, ones are, I think, uh, Calabi Yao manifolds. I see. Okay. It's funny so that nowadays it seems so obvious, but it's not so easy. They are not so easy to construct. Right? I see. I see. Okay. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So so um so so our main uh result uh basically says that there's no non-trivial cast manifold. So it's a negative result, right? So um you know we uh, uh fit our expectations. So namely, if you if it's uh, if the churn connection is Andrew Singer. Then it has to be either uh, either Hermitian symmetric or term flat. So 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 that's that's the, that's the um, that's the result. Um, so so in a way, it's kind of a, like a, re, a negative non-existence result or or rigidity result. So um, so the proof um, basically um, the proof is not uh, is is not long. Basically, uh, uh, decomposes into uh, three parts. The first part is you want to extract these killer drum factors, um, <clears throat> which are, which kind of uh, uh, na naturally uh, associate to the tor to the kernel of the to of churn torsion, right? Um, but because the because you're dealing with uh, a connection, you, because you're not dealing with Lebesgue connection, so the drum decomposition theorem has to be used in a uh, you know, careful way. Um, so the non killer factors. Um, so, so if you if you if you exclude the Kähler drum factors, and then then you get a term Ricci flat, Ricci flatness. So that's the uh, that's our, our our observation, and then then um then we use um uh, a algebraic analog of the AK theorem we uh, just stated before, namely uh, if you cons consider this abstract uh, holonomy system, if it's irreducible and symmetric in the proper sense. Then uh, Ricci flat will imply flat. So basically, this uh, come out of uh, our, uh, our, uh, uh, our our study on, on Simon's uh, Simon's paper. Uh, he had this algebraic proof of uh, Berger's uh, holonomy theorem. Right. So the first part is relatively easy, um, straightforward. So here, let me just skip it. Basically, you you take the um, you take the uh, churn torsion. And uh, take its kernel that will correspond to the uh, Kähler drum factors. So the second part is uh, is by constructing this uh, this uh, this uh, uh, holomorphic symplectic form, which will force the Ricci to be uh, to be to be to be zero. Um, the third part, like I say, is uh, is uh, based on uh, uh, based on a uh, algebraic analog of Simon's theorem. Uh, so, so, um, so first of all, let me uh, briefly outline the, um, the the three parts. So this part, because it's uh, uh, it's relatively straightforward, I will just uh, skip it. So basically, you take the kernel of the churn torsion, uh, we we denote it as T, right? Here, E I is a, a unitary basis, unitary frame. Um, so, so, so then you take the kernel, um, then then it will naturally uh, give you this uh, this. Uh, this, this splitting, right? Um, so, 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 so that part is uh, is is not is not is not difficult at all. So we we uh, in a way straightforward. So the second part uh, is um, basically how to construct this uh, this. Uh, so assuming you have no Kähler drum factors, now how do you how do you show it must be Ricci flat, right? Turn Ricci flat. So the um, so the the, uh, the observation is you 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 consider the the churn curvature, uh, the churn curvature um, has a kernel part and then there is a orthogonal complement part. So basically, uh, what we did is we consider the 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 the, the holonomy group, and then uh, this uh, this this uh, decomposition sort of a irreducible decomposition of the, of the of the of the tangent bundle. For, uh, with respect to the holonomy group, and then it will give us a holom holom holomorphic symplectic form, basically. And having a, a holomorphic symplectic form, of course, will force the Ricci to, to uh, because a top degree uh, holomorphic, nowhere vanishing holomorphic form. So, um, so it will force the Ricci to, force it to be Calabi out, basically. Um, um, and then the algebraic part, basically, uh, is, um, 
uh, is uh, is following the pattern of Simon's polynomial system. Um, so, 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 so this is an abstract. This is an algebraic. Uh, so here, v. You just think of v as the as the uh, tangent space at one point of this Hermitian manifold. R is the churn curvature, right? And G is the churn holonomy group. So, um, so, um, so, so, so then, then the the condition having parallel torsion and curvature basically means this holonomy system is uh, is uh, is symmetric. In, we use the word symmetric here, which may not be the best choice. Um, and then, then, you, then, then the decomposition. You have to uh, study the issue of reducibility, right? Um, so then we use the uh, use the um, so 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 basically this uh, holonomy uh, holonomy principle uh, holonomy uh, theorem by again by Andrew Singer says that uh, for any metric connection right so your holonomy the Lie algebra of the holonomy group uh, restricted holonomy group is given by the um, parallel translate of this uh, of this uh, curvature right so curvature and you know under parallel translation gives you all the uh, all the elements in the Lie algebra, so that's the holonomy theorem. Yeah. So so the basically this conjugation of uh, of, uh, of curvature is enough to generate all the uh, is this Lie algebra holonomy algebra. So so that's the that's that's the ingredient. Um, so um, so so using so so basically uh, what 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 is needed here is a AK type theorem. For this holonomy system, that you know, abstract holonomy system that we uh, we 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 uh, formulated. So basically, uh, in our terminology, if you have this abstract, uh, irreducible symmetric holonomy system, then if the curvature is Ricci flat, it must be flat. So that's the that's the that's exactly what we needed to. So putting these three parts together, uh, then we get the proof of our um, of our main theorem. So in summary, we have shown that any compact Hermitian manifold, uh, if Great it's question, turned Yang. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sorry to sorry to interrupt. In particular, does that give a new proof of the AK theorem? Yeah. So you have a new algebraic proof of the of the Alexievsky Kimmelfeld theorem, then is that correct? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, because AK theorem only uh, only uh, is only with respect to uh, it's a statement about uh, the Chivita connection. So here we're talking about general matrix connection, but with a bunch of uh, assumptions. Yes, so, but um, is, 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 under these assumptions, can win, can one fit in the the Alexievsky Kimmelfeld theorem as a particular case, or is it just? Inspired uh, by the theorem, but not the. It's, it's inspired by the AK theorem, but not exactly the same because uh, because uh, uh, the reason is uh, uh, the connection has torsion. That's the so you so you need this uh, holonomy system. This this kind of a. Uh, uh, so 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 uh, so the in the in the paper we have this proof. Proof basically is kind of like a Nomitsu's uh, construction where you use the. Parallelness of the torsion and the curvature to formulate a larger Lie group, the algebra, right? Putting them together. So the so-called Nomizu system. Um, so so um, so, but uh, but uh, um, but uh, we got this inspiration basically uh, by AK theorem. See here, what we need exactly is Ricci flat implies flat, right? But even but AK they only cared about uh, Riemannian connection, Lebesgue connection. So here we, we're we're in a in a different situation. So so we have to deal with torsion, right? But the parallelness of torsion made things uh, still uh, controllable, basically. So um so I, I I don't know if I. So so if 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 we summarize, then then um then basically uh what we show is that um is that uh, if you require the churn connection to be an uh, Ambrose Singer connection. Then you don't get any uh, non-trivial example. Just the Hermitian symmetric ones and the churn flat ones. Um, so, but as a consequence, we also have an AK theorem for churn connection. So this is the main corollary of our main result. So, namely, if you have a Hermitian manifold where the churn connection is Ambrose and Singer, uh, if it's Ricci flat, then it will be flat. This is because uh, uh, even for Hermitian symmetric space, right? So if it's Ricci flat, it's flat. 
and uh, the other component is already churn flap. So, so you, so if you want, so this Ricci flap basically controls the Kitter component, right? So, so in other words, the the AQ theorem um, has a, a churn uh, analog. Basically, AQ theorem is about Riemannian connection, right? Uh, here, here it's about churn connection. So you cannot directly apply AQ theorem to to this, um, but. Um, but here, uh, I should point out that there is also a naive way of generalizing AK, right? Namely, um, so you can think of AK as on a symmetric space uh, or, or, you know, or, or it's compact quotient. Uh, if, um, if the Levitivita connection is richly flat, then it will be flat, right? So, so, so you may ask the same question. If, I ha if I'm uh, on a locally homogeneous Hermitian manifold, and then if the churn connection is richly flat, would it be churn flat? So this is this is what I mean by naive way of generalizing AK. In other words, does churn connection behave like Levitivita connection on a homogeneous manifold? Right. Um, but the answer is no. So because because there are there are, there are, there are plenty of uh, counterexamples. So you could have a, a you could have a, a homogeneous Hermitian manifold where where it's churn richly flat, but not churn flat. So, um, but um, you see, there are examples where I, I so there are three, um, in the non kitter case, there are three different kinds of Ricci, right? The first, second, and third. So the example I was talking about is the first and the third Ricci, both vanishes, but it's not term flat. So, so there, are, there are lots of, uh, I've, we found, I mean, there's plenty of such examples, but not of the second Ricci. So if you touch the second Ricci, the examples are, Always hard, harder to come by. So, so we ask this. Uh, we speculate this. You know. So we, we just ask this wild question. We don't know the answer to it. So, if you require all three Ricci to vanish, would that imply um, imply uh, the flatness of turn 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 curvature? That we don't know. We don't have any example. We we could we couldn't prove it either. See here. Um, if you just want the manifold to be uh, uh, homogeneous. Oh, here I missed Sorry, the word. Yang, what do you mean yes. by? Ah, okay. So locally, you you wanted to write locally homogeneous. Yes, yes, yes. So so okay, here okay. I, I there was a typo. I missed the word. Uh, locally Hermitian homogeneous. Uh, so if it's Ricci flat in the sense that all three Ricci vanishes, would that imply it to be uh to be re to be flat? So that's the question. Okay. So sorry about the typo. Um. But the, but if you if you skip the second reach, uh, then then there are counterexamples. Then it's not true. Okay. So in other words, uh, in our uh, in our in our previous corollary, uh, we say um, churn connections and Bruce Singer. This is really a stronger way than saying it's locally uh, Hermitian homogeneous because it's Hermitian homogeneous in a sort of a, in a particular way, right? So um so 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 that's 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 just a question. Uh, we do not know how to prove a statement, and we don't have kind of example. Um, okay, so in the uh, remaining uh, time, uh, let's switch gear to to um, to other canonical metric connections on Hermitian manifold, namely the Bismuth connection and the T Gaudichon connection. Uh, so, so let's start with the Bismuth connection. Um, so. Um, So we 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 again we call it bass. Bass simply means a uh, 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 bismuth Ambrose Singer, meaning the bismuth connection is having a parallel torsion and curvature. So um, so of course um, the Kitter one, Hermitian symmetric ones, they're they're certainly uh, bass, right? Uh, and also the bismuth flat ones, they're also bass because uh, the bismuth flat ones are well well uh, understood. So they always have parallel torsion. So therefore, they're bass, right? So the curvature vanishes. So um, they are the so-called uh, Samuelson spaces, which means uh, this um, this uh, this this Lie group with bi-invariant matrix uh, you, uh, and the compatible left-invariant complex structure. So um, so these spaces are are known to be bismuth flat a long long time ago, um, but uh, um, but uh, we show that. Um, we show that uh, that that uh, that uh, um, there there's no other 
So no, no other, so, so the converse is also true. So bismol, in a way, bismol flat manifolds are classified. Um, now, the question is, besides this, the trivial examples, right? So uh, bismol flat ones and the permission symmetric ones, are there any other bass manifold? Uh, unlike the cast case, uh, there, there are actually plenty, uh, uh, starting in context dimension three. Uh, there's, there's lots of such examples. Um, and, the, and the bass uh, is uh, a special subset of, uh, of so-called natural reductive homogeneous space. So this is a, 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 a class of uh, homogeneous space. I think I, th I think uh, uh, Ramiro and and the, and, the, and others and the, the, the Emilio, the, the, you guys are all experts on uh, you, you know much more than uh, uh, homogeneous space than me. So uh, so this is seems to be a classic uh, 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 classic object of study uh, in homogeneous uh, locally homogeneous manifolds. Uh, natural reductive simply means that the um, the characteristic connection is um, is uh, um, well the, the having skew symmetric torsion basically you have a metric connection with parallel and a skew symmetric torsion um, so 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 then people like uh, Professor Agricola Clayton I, I listed a few names uh, which is by no means uh, exhausted. So um, my understanding is that these natural reductive homogeneous spaces were fully classified up to maybe dimension eight. But, but, uh, but uh, uh, as you can imagine, in higher dimensions, this is not possible in general damage, right? Because uh, this involves, uh, I mean, they, they, wanna, they wanna basically uh, understand, I mean, you, you can't classify this, uh, you, can't, uh, you, you can't imagine having a classification of the algebra in all dimensions, right? That's just... Uh, so 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 I so I don't know so but here uh, what we what we're interested in are are slightly different. So first of all, uh, we're only interested in uh, complex one, permission ones, right? Which is a uh, which is a restriction, and we care more about the complex structure than just the real uh, you know the real uh, homogeneous structure. So so the question is um, for bass, which is a, a small subset of this uh, of this class. Can you uh, can you you know have a good geometric characterization, uh, or, or or in some sense classify this bass manifold? And also you can ask this uh, AK type uh, question for 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 bass manifold, namely if it has if it's Ricci flat, would it be flat, right? So 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 um so 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 these are these are natural sort of questions uh, mimicking the churn connection case. Um, so towards this uh, second question, so the second question is uh, this AK type thing, right? So uh, we have the following partial result, uh, namely, um, namely, uh, if you, if it's non Kähler and the bass and its first and third uh, bismuth Ricci both vanishes. So for bass manifold, the first and second Ricci will, will will be equal, always equal. So so here basically you're requiring all three bismuth Ricci to vanish, and then we can show this manifold cannot be balanced, must be unbalanced. Um, and, the, and we can prove it's bismuth flat if, if, the, if, if the A is small, smaller than or equal to four. But in general, we don't know how to do it yet. Um, so basically our proof is brute force in, because in low dimension, you have this uh, uh, classification of natural reductive spaces, right? Now, for n equal to two, the, the picture is, is, is simple. So that simply means uh, homogeneous vestment. Uh, so um, so, so um, vestment surfaces are, are classified by this nice paper by uh, Bell Gang in the, uh, 2012 or something. Um, and, and, the, um, and the here, of course, you only, uh, so the, the, you want the curvature to be parallel. So these are the homogeneous ones, locally homogeneous ones. And uh, and uh, and uh, um, if it's Ricci flat, then it will be flat, right? So the flat ones only only the isosceles half surfaces. So so um so here so, so here let me uh, let me uh, briefly remark that uh, for a Hermitian connection, so the Ricci curvature as a metric connection, you have Ricci curvature, right? So this is this is the third Ricci, okay. But if it's a Hermitian connection, then you also have uh, you also can contract the first two and the last two position. In the real case, you cannot do that, right? Because skew symmetric. 
uh, with respect to the first two positions. But in the Hermitian case, uh, because it's one one type, you can use the metric to take contraction, right? So, so, um, so, so, so you have three different kinds of reach. In general, they're not equal. But for bass manifolds, the first and second are always equal because the first two position and last two position of the curvature can swap. So, um, um, so here, uh, let me uh, mention a couple of uh, uh, closely related questions to this uh, AK for bismuth type. So one is this question by uh, Garcia Fernandez and Jeff Streets. They asked that if you have a, a compact Riemannian manifold, if the metric, if if there is a metric connection where uh, with total this schismetric torsion, uh, if the re if the reach vanishes, then it must be flat. See here, it's a little bit different. First of all, it's a real manifold; it's not a complex manifold, right? Um, and also, they do not require this uh, this uh, connection, this metric connection, to have parallel torsion. They only wanted it to have uh, skews symmetric torsion, like peaceful connection. So, 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 so the situation is slightly different. Um, so, this question related to their uh, generalized geometry uh, and this generalized uh, Einstein structure, right? Uh, it turns out it's true in real dimension four or less, but uh, in dimension five. Uh, Podesta and the Raffaello are uh, constructed counterexamples. So in, in, in a couple of recent preprints. So um, to be more precise, what they did is they constructed um, uh, an explicit sequence of uh, a whole compact homogeneous five manifold and along with a, a invariant three form H on it. So if you form this metric connection Nabla H uh, using H as torsion, yeah. And then it's Ricci flat, but not flat. So here, P and Q are any uh, two uh, relatively prime uh, positive integers. So another closely related conjecture is this uh, question raised by uh, by by, by uh, Yao and uh, uh, Zhao and myself uh, a few years, a couple of years ago. So we considered uh, uh, another type of spatial Hermitian uh, matrix called EKL which simply means the bismuth curvature uh, obeys all the Kähler symmetry. So behave like a Kähler curvature, uh, the curvature of a Kähler matrix. So the conjecture says that if it is CYT, then it's bismuth flat. So CYT is Calabria, short for Calabria with torsion. It simply means the first bismuth reach vanishes. Um, so this is a condition, uh, this is a term, uh, I think used in this by these mathematical physicists. Um, so um, recently, Zhao and I were able to to uh, to prove this conjecture in general dimension. Now, this conjecture is uh, uh, is uh, related to the bismuth AK, but uh, not 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 exactly the same. The reason is the following. So, first of all, this BKL condition implies uh, actually is equivalent to uh, parallel torsion and. Uh, Plural closeness. So, um, so, but in general, BKL, but but you do not require the curvature to be uh, to be to be parallel. So therefore, the curvature can vary. It may not be homogeneous, right? So so BKL may not be fast. So so so, but it, it is a highly restrictive class. Okay. So uh, in I, I'm almost run, running out of time. So so let me uh, briefly recall the the. Gaudichon case, right? So the Gaudichon means you're uh, joining, you're, you're considering the line, the one parameter family joining the churn connection and the bismuth connection. Here, when t equal to zero, you get the churn connection, right? When t equal to two, you get the bismuth connection. So we, we assume t, uh, we require t to be not equal to zero two, which means the other Gaudichon connections, right? So as in the churn or bismuth case, you can one can ask these naive questions. So first of all, can you understand all these T gas manifold, meaning the T Gaudichon connection is Ambrose Singer, right? So, um, so, and also for such T gas manifold, if it's Ricci flat, will it be flat, right? So the, the, in other words, the AK flat. So the T Gaudichon flat manifolds are, are well understood. They're by, by this uh, uh, nice result by, uh, by, by, by Lafontaine and Stanfield. So, um, so, so let me, let's recall their, their theorem. The theorem says that 
for T other for 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 a Gaussian connection other than churn or bismuth. If you have a compact Gaussian flat manifold, then it must be killer. So, so uh, this is a strong uh, rigidity theorem. So in fact, uh, their, their result their, is stronger. They, they do not uh, require T Gaussian flat. You just require it to be uh, killer, T Gaussian killer, meaning that the T Gaussian curvature obeys all the killer symmetry. Um, so, so this, of course, flat would be a special case, right? So, and also they can drop this compactness uh, uh, assumption, uh, but they, in that case, they need to make a couple of uh, exceptional uh, exceptions for the t value. Okay, so these these two connections are are special, right? Uh, in, in some sense, I I know that these two thirds this correspond to the so-called minimum uh, Gaussian connection, meaning the total torsion is in some sense having smallest norm. But I don't really understand. Uh, I don't have a, a, a sense about this four fifths. So it's through their uh, uh, proof, I think. Now, towards the uh, question we just mentioned, um, so, uh, so, so first of all, there are T-gas manifolds, non-trivial, non non-killer ones, so um, for, all, for any T. Uh, so, 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 so in other words, it's not a, a, it's unlike the turn connection case. So there, there are non-trivial examples, uh, but uh, this, Kind of examples seem to be uh, highly restricted. So, so we we um, we we you know we, we're wondering if one could have a full classification. So this in a way T gas, uh, unlike the bass case, bass case there's so many examples, right? But T gas we 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 found we only found uh, one set so far. <laughs> um, but I believe there should, might be more. But um, so for the AK theorem, uh, what we could prove so far is the following uh, weak result, namely, um, so first of all, such such example, if you could, you can show that they're always uh, balanced. This is uh, kind of uh, easy to 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 show. Um, um, so if it has vanishing first and the third uh, Ricci, then it will be flat, therefore killer uh, by the Alafontaine Stanfield theorem, right? But uh, here, uh, if you just if you drop the first reach, just the third reach, third reach is the Riemannian reach, right? So then I don't know. So so we don't know how to prove it. So so this in a way this is uh, just a partial result. Okay. So um so uh, in the um in the remaining uh, minute or two, uh, let me um consider let's, let's discuss some uh, bass uh, example. Okay. So um. So I, I restrict myself. Most of the uh, so so most of the examples are non-balanced. So there are more non-balanced examples. So here, uh, let's restrict ourselves to the balanced ones. So um so so we consider compact bass three folds that are balanced. Uh, okay. So assume it's non killer and then you you can consider this B tensor. B tensor is form is the one one tensor uh, formed by taking the Taking the um, taking the 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 in a way a kind of a trace of this churn torsion. So Tijk means the churn torsion component. So this is a globally defined non-negative uh, one one form uh, on the manifold. So so in this case B is a, a parallel, right? So 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 it has a, a constant rank. So if the rank is three, then we're in the churn flat case. This is a, this is a complex this is a, a complex uh, simple Lie group, right? Um, so, so if the B rank is one, then um, then the manifold is actually a final threefold, and also the index has to be either four, which means CP three, or two, which means a del Peso three threefolds. So del Peso uh, threefolds are fully classified by Fujita, actually in all dimension. So there are seven different types, right? So, um, so then you can you can uh, using this uh, balanced bass condition, you can rule out. Uh, it turns out that everything will be ruled out except one. Uh, namely the flag man, flag threefold. The flag threefold, uh, but the metric on it is not the Kitter Einstein metric, but but uh, the so-called Wallach metric, which is Kitter Einstein metric minus the square of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, minus a global one one form, which is the square of uh, of this uh, so-called uh, co null correlation bundle. From H R geometry, so this this uh, holo this holomorphic this cohomology group has uh, is one dimensional, so um, 
Now, most of the examples live, uh, has uh, uh, B rank two. So we call the middle type for lack of a better name. Uh, so this middle type is very interesting. Um, so um, it turns out that um, if, you, if you're in the middle type case, then this manifold, you may need to lift this manifold to a two sheet unbranched cover, okay? And then on this two sheet unbranched cover or itself, um, um, you have another complex structure, which is compatible with the same matrix. And this complex structure is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, in a way, abelian to the, or, or so we call it I. So I and J are, 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 are commut commutative. Um, so you get two different Hermitian threefolds with the same matrix, right? But it's not like the hyper-complex case. So in this case, they share the same bismuth connection. So even though they're different complex structure, but they share the same bismuth connection, so therefore they're both sparse. okay? The other one, the other one is, uh, is actually a vestment. So it's a special type of vestment. It's exactly those vestment threefolds with, um, with uh, abelian holonomy. Okay, so the holonomy of a vestment threefold is U2 cross uh, U2 uh, cross one, right? Uh, but uh, but um, but this kind of uh, um, middle type balanced threefold uh, corresponds to a vestment whose holonomy is like U1 cross U1 cross one. So so it's abelian holonomy one. So um. So, so, um, so this corresponds to the classification of homogeneous vestment of a special type, or equivalently, the classification of a homogeneous Sasaki five manifold of a certain rather restrictive. So, so I, you know, I'm still learning about Sasaki, so, so I don't know. So here, let me give you a Lie group example. So, so there is a, um, there is actually a Lie group example of this pass threefold of middle type. Uh, the structure equation looked like this. Okay, so this is uh, interesting. So this is a three-step Neopotent Lie algebra, um, uh, so, so, solvable algebra. Um, I, I'm consulting with uh, with uh, experts like uh, um, Professor Fino and uh, Angela and Podesta, and they told me that this. So so this is not in their uh, in the table um, of this uh, AOUV paper. So in the AOUV paper, there are two nice tables: table one and table two. Table one lists all the neopotent three-dimensional uh, three neopotent manifolds. Table two lists all the kalabi yau type um, solvable threefolds. So um, so this one is not kalabi yau type. So the canonical line bundle is not holomorphically trivial, even though it's. Uh, Chern Ricci, first Chern Ricci vanishes. It's balanced. Therefore, it's uh, all the Gaudujun connection has vanished in first Ricci. Um, Bismo first Ricci also vanishes. So it's CYT, right? Um, but, um, but um, and this Lie algebra, um, uh, it's neo radical, it's five dimensional, and it has one dimensional commutator. It's neo, neo radical. So therefore, it falls into the uh, class of so-called almost neopotent solvable <laughs> so by, by, uh, by, by the uh, term of uh, Professor Fino and uh, uh, para, para, um, Paradiso. Um, so they have, they have a paper uh, studying those type. Uh, anyway, so, so, um, so, 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 so I, I, I put, put up this example just to, just to show that there are, you know, there are such best, best ones. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I, I'll stop here. Thank you. Many, many thanks, Wang Yang, for a beautiful talk. Um, I'm sure there will be questions from the audience. Thomas? Uh, yeah, hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for the nice talk. Uh, I just have a quick question. I uh, so I think I missed why the churn connection is, satisfies Bianchi identity. Is that easy to see or is it? Uh, well, the, uh, the, the, the Bianchi identity um, is it, it, not the um, Bianchi uh, in the, in the uh, Riemannian sense. It has torsion component in it, right? Because for any matrix connection, you can still write down the first and second Bianchi. The first one is the cyclic sum of uh, of the curvature, uh, along with um, 
with uh, with the uh, uh, quadratic term in, in, in torsion and uh, first covariant derivative term in torsion, right? Yes. So here we we uh, we assume the torsion is parallel, so the mm -hmm. the covariant derivative term term vanishes. So mm -hmm. so the first Bianchi is basically a curvature um, curvature um, cyclic sum. Well, in the complex case, there are two terms, right? Basically, the, the swap of the first and third position. Uh, and mm -hmm. then the difference is not is not uh, zero. The difference is uh, uh, given by a, a combination of this torsion. So it's a quadratic expression in torsion. Mm -hmm. but, and, but and that for the is whole... very useful. Yeah. So that is okay. crucial in our computation. Yeah. Well, we need that identity. Yeah. So for this Simon Solonomy system, don't you need the, the proper Bianchi identity with equal to zero? Or does it work also with the quadratic torsion terms? Yes, it, it, it does work. Because we, uh, we the, uh, the, the algebraic holonomy uh, theorem is a generalization of Simons. So we, we're right. working with uh, a connection with torsion. So, the, okay. so you basically add the torsion part to the, uh, to the curvature part to form a larger the algebra, mm -hmm. basically. So, so the, these holonomy systems are more general than the Simons one that you consider. So yes, they are yes, it's more general. general. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's a holonomy system with torsion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. That makes it much more difficult, I guess, to 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 get these results. So. And um, can, can I ask well, another? I, Sorry. I, I think I, I should say I should say that uh, this is mostly uh, Lainey's uh, uh, because he. He had he wrote this uh, this maybe unpublished notes uh, studying Simon's uh, paper. So he mm -hmm. tried to understand Simon's uh, proof uh, on Hormone, on Berger's Hormone, uh theorem, uh, and uh, and so so he he I mean he he knows this basically this uh, Nomisu system. I mean the way they prove. Uh, I mean he I think he also benefited from reading this uh, paper by Constant. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Who basically, uh, I mean, in some sense, it's a it's a, a reinterpretation of uh, of uh, Ambrose Singer yeah. theorem. Yeah. I think. So, yeah. Can I ask another question? Oh. Sure. Go ahead, okay. please. Uh, can you show again this conjecture by Garcia Fernandez? And uh, you had some. Okay. Uh, some, so let me. Some... Okay. Ah, yeah. So, compare. so the, the, isn't there some assumption missing, like that the curvature is parallel or something? Because otherwise, uh, I guess you're right. So they call, uh, yeah. I maybe I, I hope I didn't miss any assumption here. So basically, uh, what they want is this. Uh, so they have this uh, nabla h, right? So nabla mm -hmm. h is basically the Vitivita plus h. Or half edge, oh, okay. maybe. Oh, so this yeah. this metric connection, they require yeah. it to be richy flat. That's yeah, a yeah. very strong. That's a very strong restriction because it will force this edge to be harmonic. Yeah. yeah. And also, because otherwise, um, otherwise the Levi Civita connection would be a counterexample to this Garcia Fernandez thing because it is has zero torsion and there are richy flat that are not flat. I see. Right? I see. I see. Yeah. I see your point. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Some maybe I missed the. Uh, uh, so so, um, yeah. Total skew is metric. So they call it this. Uh, uh, they call it bismol flat pair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bismol mm -hmm. Ricci okay. flat pair. Uh, yeah, you're right. So so we we need some something to prevent h to be zero, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So the you. was for um for homogeneous. Yeah, or homo homogeneous. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. so so yeah. I, I'm sorry. I probably misstated the question. Uh, I think uh, I may. So otherwise, uh, otherwise, this uh, you're right. This Levitivita connection will be. Hmm. Okay. Thank you very. Okay. Thank you for the talk. It was a very nice talk. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All questions. Um, I have uh, one or two questions. I'm sorry for the interruptions, Fang. Very nice talk. Um, my uh, first question is: Oh, so this um, Chern connection, uh, all the Ricci's flat uh, 
we expect some rigidity maybe um is can you get anything out of the kayla like condition you know if you assume kayla like and all the reach is flat does something happen there or not something you consider well, in the in the churn Ambrose Singer, in the CAS case, um, the the CAS condition will automatically imply it, it is killer like. So so all three churn Ricci are equal in that case. So if you say Ricci flat, it means all three Ricci. But in the BAS or uh, or T Gardushun AAS case, uh, you don't have killer likeness. By, by assuming parallel torsion and curvature. So that's a major difference. Right. So, so, um, but yeah, did you so, uh, have a, sorry. Um, I was just going to ask, did you have a, wasn't there a more general conjecture you made about, or well, not a conjecture, but at least a question about uh, not no cast assumption, just three reaches flat, or am I misinterpreting? Yeah, so, so we don't have a counterexample to that. So, so there are mm -hmm. two things I don't know. Uh, one is that if you have just say a compact permission manifold, if all three reach vanishes, must it be churn flat? I don't have any kind of example to that. Um, mm, that's so maybe, maybe, maybe Ramiro, maybe you guys. I mean, I, I you know, if you construct kind of example, maybe it has to be a, come from homogeneous, right? Look at homogeneous maybe, ones yeah. first. So the other thing I don't have kind of example to of, uh, which I'm very uh, interested in knowing is that, uh, you know, this churn killer like, right? You just require the churn curvature to be uh, obey all the killer symmetry. So I don't know of any example that is churn killer like, but not churn flat. So I, I yeah, believe there be should, really be, should be, uh, yeah, there should be such uh, such example. But uh, not, I mean, not killer, you mean? Right, non kater non wise, yes, non kater wise, always non kater wise, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, so so I try to to work on these deep groups, these solvable groups, or 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 or, or neoprotein groups a little bit. I couldn't find counterexamples. So mm -hmm. so um, but yeah, I, I think there should. So 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 yeah. So the the. There's lots of uh, so we ask a lot of naive questions, but we don't really. Uh, yeah. So we need to learn more about homogeneous space, basically. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. They don't seem so naive to me, but uh, anyways, are there any other questions? So if it's not the case, then uh, let's thank the speaker again. Thank you, Fang Yang. Yeah. Thank you all. Uh, and uh, let me say this, uh, welcome to, if you come to visit China, please contact me, uh, you, you know, we, we would like to host you in Chongqing. Thank you Chongqing is an interesting city, unlike, uh, it's not typical, uh, not a typical city in China. If you come, if you visit Chongqing, it's mountainous, it's three-dimensional, it's uh, with a very strange landscape, so, uh, so it's an interesting place. And uh, also known for its uh, cuisine, uh, you know, very uh, famous uh, sort of uh, food here. So <laughs> you're making it sound very interesting. Yeah. So if yeah, you come you to visit China, I'll, I'll stop the recording now. Yeah. So.